Are we on? Are we on? Let me know if you're here and let me know if you're on. I'm not sure what's happening at the minute. I need to check just to make sure. Oh, I think we are. Are we on? Oh. Let me know, let me know, let me know. I can't. Oh, I can see, I can see, I can see, I can see, I can see. Right then. So if you're here, just let me know. Uh, normally the comments will start coming up on my sidebar. So just give me a shout if you are present. I'll get it up on my phone just in case so I can check. But if you're here and if you're live, give me a shout and let me know. Hey, it's working. Kelly's here. Hello, hello, hello. Right, at least I know we're working now because I was thinking, mm, is this working or is this not? But seeing as though we are, we're going to get started. Hello, Emma. I've literally just seen you on boot camp. I've seen you before that. And then yeah, you're seeing me again. Are you sick of me yet? <laughs> so, hello, everyone. Thank you for coming today for another little training. Um, I've been looking at things that people struggle with. Hello, Kerry. That people struggle with. Um, and sort of, hello, Carly. Um, planning these videos around what you lot sort of either say or what you put in these little questionnaires or comments I receive or all that sort of stuff. So I'm hoping that today, hello, Nat, I've just seen you too. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping that you get a lot of value from these sessions. And if you do, um, I'd love to know because obviously any feedback's good, whether it's good or constructive. So whatever, um, I'll accept it, Emma. Only two and a half hours of you today. Yeah. And after, after this, I'm done. Until tomorrow, and I'll see you tomorrow. Um, anyway, so we're going to move swiftly on, and we're going to go on to today's topic. So we are talking about time. Um, hello, mum. <laughs> hello, mum, who's downstairs watching me upstairs. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, so we're going to be talking about time. Um, I love this topic of time. And I'm not going to be, I'm not going to, I'm going to try not to um, be mean, but sometimes we need a bit of tough love. When it comes to time. So, who here has ever said, and I have, I'm holding my hands up. In fact, I say it all the time. I do it subconsciously and I realise, I'm thinking, why are you saying that? Who has ever said, I ain't got time. I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time. I say it all the time, I'm not going to lie. But I say it to things because I'm not really that arsed about doing them. Do you know what I mean? If someone said to me, do you want to do that? Oh, I ain't got time. Probably because I'm not that bothered, really. So, who here has ever said, I ain't got time? I ain't got time, I ain't got time to do it. And when it comes to, yeah, well, I think we all have. Like, anybody that says they've not, I don't want to call anyone a liar, but you're probably lying. <laughs> because we, we all have, we all have. Uh, and we still all do. Yeah, Emma's giving me a wave. Yeah, we all do it. We're all guilty of it. Um, but the thing is, we all have 24 hours in a day. No one has more or less time. We all have 24 hours. That's fair to say. That's a fact. Now, it's what we do with these 24 hours that makes a difference, doesn't it? So we're going to be talking specifically about health and fitness today because that's what we love. Um, and a lot of people might say, I ain't got time to exercise. I ain't got time to prep my meals. Have we all said, I, I've said that before as well. I ain't got time to prep my meals. I ain't got time for that. And if we carry on saying I ain't got time, we aren't ever going to make the time, are we? We're never going to make the time. We're always never going to have time. And we're never going to do these things that we need to do to get to as goals. We're never going to prep that food. We're never going to go to the gym. We're never going to get that workout in. You know, we're never going to do this. We're never, we're never going to start that new job. You know, it does venture into other parts of life too. It's not just about fitness really though is it because sometimes we say oh, i ain't got time to do that course i ain't got time to do that uni course i ain't got time to better myself you know what i mean i ain't got time to learn something new that's pretty i ain't got time to pursue a career that i love <laughs> that's pretty much what we're saying is it not um and if we carry on going down this path of not having any time then what sort of life are we going to live really if we ain't got time to do the things that we we really do desire deep down do you know what i mean you're never going to get that body you want are you? You're always going to be unhappy. You're never going to try and get that new job. You're never going to do that course that you really do want to do, but you just ain't got time to. You just ain't got time to do it. Do we all catch me drift? I think is it resonating with some people? I mean, it's resonating with me because <laughs> I've done this and I still do this. 
But the difference is I am conscious of it now and I know I'm doing it so I can correct myself. But we all do it and we all say it and we probably don't realise that we are saying it. It just comes out now. I don't exactly I got time. Uh, we don't actually think about it. So this is what this is going to sound a bit odd, but hear me out. Hear me out. This is legit. This is real. Time is an emotion. Some of you have heard me say this, boot campers, because I have said it before and I do say it a lot. Time is an emotion. And you're probably thinking, eh? Not about time is time. But Time is whatever you attach to it emotionally, right? And here's a good example, and I've used this one before, and I love it, and you're all going to resonate with this. So if you're doing a circuit, right, and I say we're going to do 30 seconds of burpees, and then you have a minute off, that 30 seconds is longest 30 seconds of your day, but that minute off you go, bloody hell, that went quick. Bloody hell, that went quick. Did it? Or if you're at work, let's say you've got an hour till you clock off, it's four o'clock, you clock watching, you're thinking, chuffing hell, that hour goes so slow, if you go to the pub with your friends, and you're having a right laugh, you're there for five hours, you go, oh my god, is that the time already, that went fast, yeah, because time is whatever we attach to it emotionally, so get that into your head, right, Understand that concept that time is whatever we emotionally attach to it. Yeah, if you're doing something you don't enjoy, it's gonna go slower. So, I am just putting that out there. Make sure you do something that you enjoy, otherwise, it's gonna feel dread. You know what I mean? Do something, don't get me wrong, boot camping always that fun, but we do have a laugh. I think it goes quick anyway, <laughs> but anyway. When it comes to creating time, now I ain't a wizard. I'm gonna say a witch then. I don't want another one to say. I'm not a wizard. I'm not Harry Potter. You know I mean, I'm not a Hermione. I've not got a little wand that I just <laughs> and give more time. However, this is where you need to sort of look inside yourself a little bit. And you've got to be honest. And it, you might not like what I'm gonna say, but I'm gonna say it anyway, because I love you all and I do it because I care. Are you wasting time? Who here wastes time? Now, if anybody says that they don't do this, unless you've not got social media, which you all have, because you're all watching me on it, <laughs> who scrolls on social media? I do. I do. I'm not perfect. I do. And then I think, oh, sugar. <laughs> I've been scrolling for 15 minutes. I've been on TikTok looking at stupid videos for 15 minutes. Anybody else do that? Scroll hole, I call it. The scroll hole. We all do that. If you did that three, four times in a day for 15 minutes, there's an hour there. The scroll hole. There's an hour there, is there not? What other things? Netflix? Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying don't watch Netflix. But who out there, and I have, before anyone says, I have, who's binge watched summer? Who has binge watched something? How many episodes? Five, six, seven, eight, nine? The lot? How many hours worth is that? <laughs> How many hours have you been binge watching Dexter for? Because I binge watched that. Hmm? We all do these things. We all do them. We all do them. We're all guilty of them. I am, so I'm not here saying you lot this and you lot that. You know, I'm just saying. As a grand scheme of things, we all do it. We all do it. But you do have time. And that's the point I'm trying to make here, boys and girls. Well, there shouldn't be any boys, but I've just seen Craig Redford's name pop up. <laughs> so that's why I said, boys and girls. But we have all got to acknowledge the fact that we waste time. We waste time doing things that aren't actually important. Now, if you think scrolling on social media is important, fair play. Is it more important than your health and fitness? Is it more important than that course that you want to do? Is it more important than, you know, your, your aspirations, your passions? Is it more important than that? Because if it is, that's fine. You carry on. 
you carry on. But I know for a fact it is not for me. It's not more important. Now, am I saying don't use social media? No, I'm not. It's a valuable tool. But are you using social media or is social media using you? Yeah, that's something to think about, isn't it? Mm hmm. I don't know if you've ever watched that thing on uh, Netflix, but it is called The Social Dilemma. I think that's what it's called. It's about like um, Facebook and how it's programmed and how social media gets you to basically, yeah, be addicted to it. Be addicted to it. So be aware of the screen time and the time you spend doing this. Mm hmm. So that is a way. And you've got to be conscious about these things. It's all about being aware that you're doing it. And I, thankfully, am now. And I think, Daisy, put the phone down. And what I normally do, and you can probably see it there, I have my phone on do not disturb when I'm doing stuff up here. So I don't put it in my hand. Once it's in that hand, that's it. That time has gone. So if you play on your phone, you have got time. You've got time to do a workout. You can do something in 15 minutes. 15 minutes is better than none. Mm -hmm. So it's just what is important to you. It's all a matter of perception, isn't it? What do you perceive to be more important? Doing stuff like that that don't really serve you? Or working towards things that can better your life and do serve you and will actually make you happy? I don't know about you, but scrolling on social media never makes me happy. <laughs> Unless it's an odd funny video. But, you know, you compare yourself to others. It's not a positive environment to be in. 80% of the time, is it? Whereas you could be doing something that's really going to benefit you, make you happy. And that's getting off that phone and getting something done. So, I mean, I don't know if anyone else has got any more examples of where you think you might waste time. And don't get me wrong, I know some of you might be thinking, hang on a minute, I ain't got time because I've got kids. That could be one. You've got kids. And I know that some of you on this have got kids. Um, somebody knows I'm going to use an example of her because I've told her that I am, and I am. Um, so somebody that I've been working really closely with over the past seven weeks has children, has children. And she has actually incorporated, so this, I don't have time, because some people say I ain't got time because I've got kids. And like I say, I can't comment on that, I've not got any. However, knowing somebody who has, and who's gone through this process, she's got her kids involved in the stuff that she's doing now obviously if you've got a child in a nappy and they can't do anything i get it i get it i'm just trying to give you some more examples of the roadblocks that you have i've got kids well can't your kids get involved get them running around with you get them doing something with you yeah all right will you have the same sort of workout if they're around your feet at home maybe not but are you going to do an half an hour all right workout get moving have fun with your kids bit of bonding or are you just going to not bother? You know, we all have choices. We all have choices. We all have the same 24 hours and we all have a choice as to what we're going to do in them 24 hours. And that's just it. Time is an excuse that everybody uses, but you'll make time for the things that are important. Now, if you've got kids and they are on your feet and they do, do your tits in, <laughs> we aren't swearing, do your head in. When they go to bed, can you do a workout then? Or would you rather sit and watch telly and do Netflix and stuff? Yes, I know you might be tired. That's another thing. And I'm not going to delve into all this because I could go into so many subtopics here. Again, we'll be here all week. Um, it's something that I work closely with one-to-one -one clients with because I do understand that there is a domino effect. And you have to obviously then think about, right, well, I'm tired. So I need to address this. And there's this and there's this and there's this. So I get that. But just think... From the, from the simple steps that I can give you, really think about where you're putting your time. Really think. And I don't know if any of you have organised. I am. I love a good diary me. Mine's actually the size of Bible. And if anybody's seen it, they think it's quite funny. But this is my diary. It's massive. It's massive. But it makes me quite organised. Schedule your time and set timers for things. Because believe it or not, it really does help. So do you know if you're like, right, I'm going to do a 15 minute workout, a bit of a timer on. I'm going to do 10 minutes of this. I'm going to watch Netflix. I'm going to watch one episode. It's off an hour. Then, I, do you know what I mean? Prioritize time and put things in for you. And that's probably not social media because that's not going to serve you that well, is it? Um, so, number one, point number one, we're going to do some takeaways now, right? Takeaways. Takeaway points, not takeaway. <laughs> not having a takeaway. 
So takeaway point number one, organise your time better. Organise your diary and schedule things in and try your best to stick to it. And if you struggle, because sometimes I forget, I don't walk around with Bible in my bag. <laughs> it's too heavy. But I do have a um, thingy on my phone, a calendar on my phone, and it does alert me. So when I'm meant to be starting something else, it's like Daisy, you know, next task. I'm like, right, let's finish what I'm doing here. Let's go on to the next thing. So organise your time a little bit better um, and stick to it. And if you need to set timers and alerts like I do, do it because it does make a massive difference. Eliminate Unlim eliminate things that you don't necessarily need to do. Maybe reduce screen time. You know, stop watching Netflix for four hours at night. Maybe just watch one episode. Delegate tasks. Can somebody else help you with something that takes up a lot of your time? That might be something that you could think about. And lastly, because time is an emotion and it's all perce perception, have fun. Have fun. If you enjoy what you do, whether that be working out or whether it be whatever it is, make it fun. And fitness can be fun. Working out can be fun. Prepping meals can be fun. God, yes. Music on. A bit of Bee Gees for me, personally. Don't judge me. Bit of Bee Gees. Really loud. Prep your food with that on. Honestly, it's like an hour of absolute amazing belting songs and dancing. Make things fun. Because when it's fun, it doesn't feel as much of a slog. And I think sometimes we use that excuse, don't we? Like, oh, I ain't got time. And I think we ain't got time because we just like can't be arsed is the actual thing. A lot of the time. I know sometimes it's not. I get that. If you've got kids and, you know, all these other things. But I'd say a very large percentage of the time, it's because we can't be asked. And I've, I've not got many of my girlmates on here, I don't think. But if you are on here, don't take offence to this. I'm just speaking from the art. But do you know sometimes when someone says to you, do you want to go out? Or do you want to do something? And you're like, if it's something that don't right, right tickle your pickle, and you say, I ain't got time. It's not because you can't be asked, innit? Do you want to go to pub on Saturday night? I ain't got time. Can't be asked. <laughs> Can't be asked for hangover. But it's the same thing. So top three tips. I'm going to run through them quick again. If you apply them, let me know. Let me know how you get on. Keep me updated. Send me a private message. Voice note me because I want to know if you're implementing and how you're getting on. Yeah, I really want to make sure that you're all absorbing this, <laughs> applying it, and learning from it. So number one, organise your time. Number two, I have actually written down today, so I do forget. Uh, eliminate anything that's unnecessary. And number three, have fun. Have fun. So if you are struggling with time management, you know, and you want to free up a bit more time in your diary, get some results, all this fitness, amazing fitness stuff, fitness related. Obviously, I know a lot of my clients <laughs> do come out with other results from their coaching. That's all part of parcel, I guess. Um, but I am offering free breakthrough calls you've got to message me to book one of these calls um where we can talk through where you're at where you want to be and if i can actually help you get there so if that's something you want drop me a comment or message me and i'm happy to help you i'm going to be coming live in here every single thursday now every single thursday half past seven we're a different topic and if there's something you want me to cover let me know and i'm going to do it so that's me done for now another quick 20 minutes look bite-sized information let me know if you do try the little action steps. Let me know if you want one of these breakthrough calls and I can try and help you best I can. Um, thank you all of you for coming. We've got Carly, Kelly, Shan, Emma. Who else have we got on here? Nat, Mum, <laughs> Kerry. So thank you very much, all of you, for coming on. And Craig. I don't know where Craig's come from. Um, but yeah, if you do need me, if you want to ask me any questions, you know where I am. Have an absolutely amazing evening and I will see you next week.